Hey guys, Chamber Productions here coming back at you with another Transformers video review and in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at the Mate Toys Remaster Series MTRM08 Despatron. Now setting the figure off to the side, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging for this figure and honestly it's looking really really cool. You know you got a cool picture of Despatron there on the front of the box on the top. We got another picture of Despatron here on the side, another really cool image of him. And then the other side is just kind of a continuation of this picture where we see his legs there. You got Despatron written there on the side. Really, really nice. On the back of the box, we can see we got all these different product shots of Despatron. We can see you've got him in some really neat poses, some of the different options we have for the figure. Just overall, really, really nice looking packaging. And then the bottom here is just... Uh, some stuff I can't read in another picture of Despertron and kind of what he comes with. So there you have that really nice packaging uh, for the accessories. He has three alternate faces. Despatron technically comes with four faces altogether, but one of them is a mutual face, which is already applied to the figure when you get it in hand. So the other three faces that we do have here are kind of this growling look, which has been done. All these face plates have been done in a nice silver with some nice chrome red eyes. So we got that. We kind of got this smirk, which looks really, really cool as well. And then we got this kind of maniacal laughter face here, which is really, really neat looking too. So we get three different face options for the figure. He also has his Energon mace, which has been done really, really nicely in this kind of uh, purple translucent-ish plastic. And then the chain itself is actually die cast metal as well. So it's got a really nice build to it. And we can see you got all the spikes here for the ball and chain bit. So overall, the construction on this is really solid. Like this is a really cool accessory. I really do like it. He does come with his instruction manuals, which two of which are done in color. And then the other two are done in black and white. Uh, this is, it comes in a part A, part B for both of them. Uh, part A is on one instruction booklet and part B is on the other. Um, so yeah, you get four instruction booklets for the figure. So that's pretty much it for accessories. There we have that. And here we have Despatron in his pistol mode. Now, this is a Make Toys rendition of a Masterpiece style G1 Megatron, and honestly, they did a pretty good job. Um, the gun mode itself looks really nice, but we do have this giant orange plug in the barrel. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, is that removable? My answer is yes, with minimal to no effort. So the plug is removable and it leaves us with a much more realistic looking gun mode. And truth be told, this is honestly a really solid rendition of Megatron in his pistol mode. Obviously it doesn't have the uh, barrel extension or the stock extension or anything like that. It's just got the scope, but overall it's getting the job done pretty nicely. Um, there are some proportional issues I think with the gun mode. I think the handle is too thick going across as you can see, like I can't even wrap my hand all the way around it. And I think the slide's a little bit too thin in proportion to the, the grip so I mean there is that other than that though I think it does a pretty good job representing the Walther P38 pistol and Megatron as a whole um, but taking a look at the details and whatnot we can see they've done pretty a pretty good job here we can see all the different details got little grooves there for the, uh, the grip we got a little safety switch here unfortunately it doesn't work or anything but it is molded in which is nice we got little grooves here for the slide, so you could put your fingers there and pretend you're racking the slide. Um, yeah, you got the hammer here at the back. It doesn't work or anything, but we can see you got P38 written there on the side, which is really nice. And then coming around towards the front, we can see overall really, really nice. The, fit, the, the trigger is functional, so... So, that's pretty nice. Uh, the scope... Uh, take it or leave it. You can use it. It's it's translucent plastic, but it's it's just difficult to see through. But you know, there you have that. So overall, the gun mode for this guy is really really nice. Definitely a good looking figure. Now for Despotron or Megatron transformation, it is actually pretty unique, and I think it's actually a cool transformation. So to start off with, we're going to take the figure. We're going to go ahead and remove the scope just like so and then we can proceed with the rest of the transformation we're going to take the trigger guard here unplug it from the rest of the grip and just kind of pull it out of the way for right now take this little panel here untab it and then come around to the back here and there's some panels that are tabbed into the gun mode which will come untabbed just like so and we can kind of move all of this out of the way just like that go ahead and take this little panel here and pull it out and around just like so. 
Now we're going to take this panel here, fold it up just like so, kind of fold it back, take this section here, fold it around, and come around to this panel here, do the exact same thing, just like so. Take the rest of the uh, slide of the gun here and pull up, that way it will detach from the rest of the body, just like so. We can come around to the back here, and there's this little panel right here, go ahead and fold it up. And then kind of move this section out of the way, just like so. Take this, fold it back, fold this up and around, just like so. Then after that, what you're going to want to do is take this panel here, untab, well, actually, this is pretty neat. And then kind of hinge this section up, like so, and then fold it back onto that leg. So it kind of sandwiches into itself and then we're going to come around to this side here take this panel and unhinge it and push it forward just like so we can then separate the legs just like so take this panel here fold it up and then extend the legs and hinge them around so go ahead and hinge the legs around take the foot fold it out pull this foot section out and unfold the heel so we're going to do that for both sides fold this out Hinge it around, pull out the foot, pull out the front part of the foot, and then fold out the heel. Now, for this leg specifically, we're going to take this section here, fold it all the way up, and then collapse this whole section into itself, just like so. And then that kind of cleans up both legs. For the skirt pieces here, this one will fold around to this side right here, and that will kind of be the, uh, the skirt for this side. Then for the rest of the transformation, what you're going to want to do is take this section here, fold it forward, untab this panel here, and then push the head through this gap right here and fold around the robot mode head. So that way, tab all that back in, so that way when we take this section here and untab it, which we do like so, this whole assembly can slide forward like that. And then once we got this whole assembly slid forward, we're going to take this section here, fold it up and in, rotate this piece around like so, and fold the whole uh, trigger guard in just like so, and then collapse all this back onto itself just like so. Now after that, we can go ahead and take the rest of the gun mode and collapse it into itself like that, and tab that in and then kind of straighten these hip panels out. And we can see how this is shaping up. You can see how this is all coming together. I'm giving my arm a break. Anyway, back to the transformation. What we're going to want to do is come around to the barrel here, untab it from the side, and it will come in on this double hinge. Fold that in, take the barrel and adjust it, and drop it down just like so. Then we can come back around to this section here, fold it out, rotate this around, and then untab the arm from this panel here, just like so. And then this panel will collapse in on the arm. And then for the hand, what we're going to want to do is open this section up, rotate out the fist like so, and then collapse that back in on itself. Then we're going to take the little hammer piece up here and fold it out just to add a little bit of definition to the shoulders here. For this arm, what we're going to want to do is come around to the back here, take this panel here, fold it up, and then we're going to repeat pretty much the same process that we did on this side for this arm. So fold this out, rotate this down, separate the arm from the panel, collapse said panel, and then for the hand on this arm is a little bit different. What you're going to want to do is take this whole section here, split it open, open up the wrist, fold around the hammer, push in the hammer to the wrist, and then collapse all this back together like so. Just make sure this whole panel here tabs back in. Also make sure to fold up this other hammer, and there we go. And there you have the other arm ready to roll. Now making sure everything stays extended, we're pretty much just cleaning up the figure at this point. So just make sure everything's cleaned up. Uh, for the chest, which I completely forgot, what you're going to want to do is... Before you close up this section here, fold this out and up, just like so, and then fold out this piece here, and then close that back up, 
which is going to give me a difficult time now. There we go. So after all that, clean up the figure, straighten them up, kind of get them situated and whatnot. And then we can grab his fusion cannon right here and slide it on to his arm. And there we have Make Toys Despotron, aka Megatron, in his robot mode. And the robot mode Make Toys have given us for Megatron here honestly looks really, really good. He has this built stature, which gives us a very intimidating feel for this figure. And honestly, it works really, really well, given the fact this is the Decepticon leader. And it just looks so nice. So taking a look at the figure, we can see all the nice little details and whatnot they've given us. The head sculpt. Looks really, really nice, but I'll focus on that here in a little bit. This figure is not without its flaws, honestly. Uh, it definitely has a few things that kind of get on my nerves. Uh, but we can see overall the figure looks incredibly nice. Flip that back up because that is just, it's, it's, it's going to fold over. Yep, just, yeah. I'm sorry, it's loose on my copy. It's just going to fold over. But overall, it looks really, really nice. So straightening the figure out here just so we can take a look at the details and whatnot. Honestly, they've done a really good job with this figure. It, it looks really, really nice. Starting off here at the feet, we can see the feet have been done in the nice silver. Some nice details there on the shin. And on the inside of the leg, we got some red plastic kind of highlighting some details and whatnot with some black, which honestly is a really nice touch. I really do like that. We can see here the legs have been done or the thighs have been done in the nice silver. We can see some nice details there for the waist plate. We can see fusion cannon has been done really really nicely has some nice details on it the kind of stomach area looks really really nice you got some buttons and painted stuff there we can see all that nice detail and then the head sculpt for this figure honestly has been done really really nicely we can see it's got some nice uh fill focus some nice details on it the nice reflective uh chrome eyes the red chrome eyes look really really nice you got some black there as well just overall, some little details here and there really help give it a more uh, unique look to it while remaining G1 Megatron. Like, there's no doubt when you look at this, it's like, that's not Megatron. Like, you look at this and it's like, oh yeah, that, that's Megatron. But robot mode, honestly, looking really, really nice. So for application of the accessories, this figure obviously comes with the Energon Mace and the alternate faces and whatnot. So we're going to start off with the Energon Mace here. We're going to take the Fusion Cannon and remove it just for right now. Um, go ahead and set that off to the side, take the mace, go ahead and bring it up so we have it right here. We're going to open up the fist here and rotate it back in as if you're transforming the figure back into his gun mode like so, and then collapse that back in to itself like such. And then we're going to take this section here, and it's kind of got a little bit of a, uh, a notch that I'll tab into, and there's a peg right here, and that will just tab in like that. And there we have Despotron wielding his Energon mace like so, and he can hold it. As you can see, honestly, there are a lot of cool poses to be had with this uh, little weapon alone, which honestly, for a while, this is how I had the figure displayed um, before filming this review. I had it stood up with his uh with his energy mace like so honestly a really cool accessory for him but uh turning to the alternate faces we're going to take this off real quick um that barrel just will not stay up for the life of anyone so uh alternate faces just transforming this back real quick um it's pretty easy to switch out face plates for this guy honestly a really unique uh really unique way of uh executing it so uh, for the face plates and whatnot, what you're going to want to do is take this section here and pull it off, and then we can remove the face plate. And then let's say we want him to have, uh, let's give him the smirk. And I will show all the face plates in this review, but it's got a little tab tab hole right here that will peg into a little peg on his face. So you just slide that on, and then you slide on the helmet like so. And we can see there he is kind of smirking right there. So I'll show you the other face plates real quick. Honestly, they look really, really cool. We got the uh, the smirk here, um, the maniacal laughter, and then we do have that kind of growling expression, all of which look incredibly good. So yeah, I'm going to get this figure back, his, uh, his normal face for the remainder of this review. But normally I leave him displayed with the growling face. I think it's really suiting of the character, just engulfed in rage 
which uh, looks really, really nice. So just putting the normal faceplate on though, we can see, there you have that. Honestly, really cool feature. So now that we're done talking about the accessories and the uh, the face plates and whatnot, the posability is honestly really, really neat. Uh, starting off here at the head, the head is on a ball joint, which allows for upward movement, downward movement. You get a side-to-side -side tilt, which allows from, for some just really expressive poses in general. You get 360 side-to-side. -side. It's on a ball joint, so no really, uh, no really hindered movement there at the head. Uh, shoulders, you get a ratchet joint on, so you get arm swivel. Uh, you do get outward movement, but it is a little bit limited. That's about as far as it'll go. So you do have that uh, bicep swivel, elbow bend well over 90 degrees, wrist swivel. You do have uh, the fingers are articulated. The three uh, fingers right here are on a knuckle joint, but then the index finger is on its own separate joint with another little joint there at the tip of the finger for uh for a little bit more expressive poses so there you have that this figure has an ab crunch uh it's got two clicks at the waist so it does have a ab crunch which is really really nice it's a little bit limited but it's honestly just that little bit to make poses a little bit more expressive so that is very appreciated um the lower legs you do have a 360 uh, torso spin or 360 waist swivel. Uh, the lower legs, um, they're pretty articulated. You have this hip skirt. It's kind of on a ball joint, which allows you to move forward. You get backward movement about that far. Outwards movement. Uh, you got a thigh swivel, a double jointed knee. It's got two different hinge joints, so you got a really deep knee bend there. Straightening that back out. You got a ankle tilt, and then forwards, forwards movement there at the feet. So, I mean, overall, this figure is extremely posable. Um, it's just some, there. I do have a few issues with uh, tolerances, at least on my copy. So, obviously, throughout this entire review, this barrel will not stay up for the life of me. Like, there is no friction holding this in place, like, at all. Like, nothing. So, that's an issue on my copy. Uh, the legs, as you saw during the transformation, they slide up. But there is no locking joint, so sometimes the figure's weight wants to sink into itself. Same thing with the uh, feet. They have slider joints, so if you're not careful when you're posing this thing, uh, the leg will try to collapse while you're trying to get this guy set up. So, I mean, that's something to kind of worry about. Um, but, I mean, other than that, it's really well done. The build quality of the figure is really good. The plastic's really nice. It's got a, a, a good amount of die-cast metal in it. And uh, just overall, it's a really good figure. It just has a couple of issues, at least on my copy. So overall, what are my final thoughts and opinions about Make Toys Desvertron? Honestly, this is a really cool figure. I really do like it. It's really, really neat. I like the overall aesthetic of the robot mode and whatnot. Yeah, the robot mode has its issues. You kind of solve the tolerance problems, at least with my figure. Not sure it's a cross-the-board thing, but... I can assure you this is a really, really good looking figure in hand. It honestly has a nice build to it. It's got some nice die cast pieces to it as well. I think this whole kind of chest section right here is die cast and it's kind of got die cast scattered throughout the figure as a whole. But I mean, overall, it's really nice. The transformation, transformation, it's a masterpiece figure, so it's going to be a little bit more complex. Uh, but overall, it ain't too bad. And then the gun mode is honestly really, really good and really well put together. So I mean, overall, it's a good figure. I really do like it. But guys, that's all for me. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think of Despertron down in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Chamber Productions, signing off.